I just got unshadow banned on TikTok and I did a couple of techniques that actually got me unshadow banned. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to identify it, how to know if you are 100% being shadow banned and some ways that you could potentially fix it. Now, to give you some context, it took me about two weeks of being shadow banned to get unshadow banned. And it sucked. In the last couple months, I've managed to go from like 2,000 followers to 11,400. And then one day, with no changes to the content or anything, I didn't do anything specific, it just went zoom. The followers stopped coming in, no viewership on all the videos. The only likes I were getting were from the people who followed me. And my follow count was weird. It would say I would gain a follower from indirect people not discovered from TikTok, but then you check the follow count and it stayed on the exact same for the two weeks. Now already we're identifying some ways to discover if you're shadow banned, but this is one definite way that you can discover if you're shadow banned or not. So I'm putting two pictures up right here. How, how the analytics work is after three days of posting a video, you can go look at your analytics and it will tell you who's interacted, who's who's followed or who's viewed your content, who's discovered it. Every single video from those two weeks were 80 to 90% from my followers. Anywhere from 10 to 1% were from profile views. If you look at this image, this was before I was shadow banned. You can see the For You page is always 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 the high majority that is the 90 percent with a little bit of followers and a little bit of profile visits and external pages etc but that was one way i was for sure knowing that i was shadow banned also i was going on every single profile who liked my content and what i discovered was it was only people who followed me so we weren't getting recommended to anybody that's the whole point of the shadow ban they're not going to publish your content publicly to new people on the For You. You're only going to be discovered by the people who already follow you. Now, why do they do this? There's multitude of different reasons. Some people might spam or buy bots or upload something that goes against their terms of service. However, I did none of these things. My content remained the exact same. I didn't do a single one of these things. So it's quite scary that this could happen to anybody. A week in, I was looking at the calendar like, is this ever gonna get fixed? Like I've just spent months posting like four videos a day. But sure enough, I scoured whole of YouTube, Google, looking into shadow bans and from 2018 to 2022 to discover who's getting shadow banned, why, how long does it last, etc. A lot of people were saying two weeks, some people saying a month, some people saying they haven't been on shadow banned after a year. So it's terrifying, you don't know. And there's no way to directly contact TikTok support. Now, I don't want you to think that I am slating TikTok. Yeah, this is a bad scenario and it sucked the whole time. And I really hope they get on top of this soon. But I really do love TikTok. I think it has crazy potential. I'm that guy in the friend group who's defending TikTok. It's just another video sharing platform. And I think compared to everywhere else, it's great for discovery for smaller creators and streamers. It's a fantastic way to build your brand. So I don't want this to come off as like a TikTok hate video, but this specific scenario, which could happen to anybody, sucks. There's also rumors that you could get shadow banned from people spam liking your content. People who will come along and just spam like, like out completely out of your control, but because it's seen as like almost like a bot doing it, they will just put you in a shadow ban and see what happens. So this is what I suggest you do if you find yourself in that scenario. Firstly, 100% identify that you are in a shadow ban. Do not just make assumptions or assume that you are even if the data doesn't say so look at the analytics look at the people following you everything that i've mentioned really look into it and have a look and once you can say for certain that you are shadow banned these are the techniques you can do to get on shadow banned if you are not shadow banned but you're noticing lower viewership than usual that is actually something that you can do to change that and I will be making a separate video about how you can get discovered on TikTok and how to get more viewership and build your brand on TikTok. I've spent the last like four or five months doing this and we've gained over like 10,000 followers in those couple months. So the techniques work. So if you would like to see a video on that, just let me know, hit that like button, leave a comment and I'm ho hopefully this video will help some of you. Anyway, if you are shadow banned, let's say you are 100% shadow banned. These are the things I recommend that you do, okay? This is the first thing. If someone's spam liking, your video block them that's the first way to just quickly instantly cut off any sort of 
negative interaction to your account that could potentially lead to you getting shadow banned. Uh, the next thing I would recommend is uploading one video a day. So I normally upload about three to four videos, maybe sometimes more uh, when I'm unshadow banned. But when you're shadow banned, just upload one a day. There's no point you putting in all that time and energy for content that's not going to be discovered. But what you need to do is show them that you are legitimate, you are still posting regardless. And I think that will help you in the longer term. And the third thing I would do is post a video letting your followers know that you're shadow banned. Because if they really enjoy your content, most people will come and support you regardless. And that was very helpful to me. And it really showed me that even though it was only going to my brand, my viewers still had my back and they were super supportive. And that, that was a good thing to see. But it also showed TikTok that my followers are enjoying my content and they are very real. They, these are real people, not bots. So it does help you if people keep coming back. I put out a video simply saying, if you do see any of my videos on your For You page or you're following or wherever, please just hit that like button, leave a comment. And the majority of people did. Obviously a lot of people won't, but the majority did. Now this is one of the biggest tips that I can give you. I forgot what number we're on, but I'm just, I'm giving you my experience, what I've learned throughout this whole thing. Uh, and this this tactic I didn't actually see anybody talk about. I feel like this is the reason I'm on shadow banned. I don't know that for definite and I have no way to prove this, but this is the method I think actually helped me. So there's no way to directly contact TikTok support. There's no way you can leave feedback in the app, but there's no direct contact. Even if you're a uh, partnered creator fund creator or what I recommend you do is join the TikTok shop creator program. Now I'm going to put some screenshots up on this side. I'm just going to move over. Being a part of TikTok shop allows you to promote products and get a commission per sale. But being a part of TikTok shop means you have access to TikTok shop creator support. Now it's not intended for stuff like shadow bans or like for issues with your platform, but they are real humans who have access to these things who can help you. Now in this one specific message here, they said in 48 hours, you will have a result and a response from us with a resolution to your issue. Surely enough, about 48 hours after they sent me that message i was no longer shadow banned now you can only join tiktok shop if you have about 1000 followers i think it's if you're on 1000 followers you can join tiktok shop or you can sign up via their website but i feel like that's a method that definitely helped me get on shadow banned but at first they tried telling me things like if you're using a vpn make sure to turn off the vpn make sure you're up to date and at the latest version try logging out and logging back in like all the defaults the vpn one surprised me but the rest were basically like just update your app log out make sure you're not got any content violations all that stuff i did all that just so i can respond and say hey the issue is still occurring i think they knew it would i knew it would but it's never it doesn't hurt to try right also my app was out of date so but sure enough after the 48 hours that they said my tiktok was on shadow banned i'm now being discovered on the for you page again and it took exactly two weeks exactly most research i did said it takes two weeks then you're on shadow banned tiktok shop said in 48 hours i don't know if they knew specifically that that's how long the shadow bans last there's no direct information on this and i've got to say that's pretty poor on tiktok's behalf so one thing i can say for tiktok improving the platform is open up transparency and allow creators to have a contact or submit a ticket or something but if you have any questions or you need help with anything please let me know in the comment section i would be honored to help you hopefully you don't find yourself in this situation but if you're like me and you did nothing wrong and you've still ended up shadow banned i wish you the best i mean just be patient maybe focus on some other platforms do it do some youtube videos build your youtube build your twitch do instagram do something else for the two weeks but just post that one video a day on tiktok so i hope this helped you hit that subscribe button smash that like if it actually helped you appreciate you much love and i'll see you in the next one peace